I'm just about to start getting some tea ready. Uh, I've got some gluten free macaroni cheese that I made the other week which has been in the freezer which I've got defrosted and I'm going to make some roasted veggies so I've got some olive oil in my tin and a variety of delicious vegetables um, which I'm going to just chop up and pop in the tin and then some salt and pepper some garlic granules because I'm not supposed to have fresh garlic really but this is okay and then some basil and some oregano so I'll speed this up because it's boring watching somebody chop vegetables in real time and I'll show you it all before it goes in the oven. There we go, a massive tin full of yummy veggies all ready to go and be roasted. I'm just going to grate some cheese to go on top of our uh, macaroni and cheese and then it'll just be a matter of letting the oven do the work. This is too many veggies for three of us but I'm going to take this opportunity to get something in the freezer for a day when we're in need of a quick healthy meal. I do like to try and do that whenever I can. I'll try and remember to show it you when it's cooked. Mm just managed to get a picture of it all before I scoff the lot. It smells delicious. Let's see if it tastes as good. I finished this cushion. I'm about to wrap it up so I thought I'd give you a quick look. So since I, you saw me working on it last, I've, oh, let's try and do this in the light. I've very carefully hand stitched the crochet front onto the sewn back and then the closure is um, press studs. I could probably have put more on there but I absolutely loathe sewing press studs on. So I think that'll be okay as long as she keeps that downwards. Excuse me little boy. I'm very very pleased with the outcome. I think it looks really pretty. I'm very pleased with the Oh, thank you very much, Cosmo. And that's the back. It looks really well. There we go. Time to wrap it. We've been clearing out the front room tonight. Still some work to do. <laughs> Just shifted the settee and the, the two chairs that were in here out. Got lots of putting away to do still, but I'm done for tonight. Uh, I'm going to go to bed because I've been feeling grotty all day. Johnny's done most of the lifting. I've just been sorting out some stuff in my corner. They say things have to get worse before they have to get better, don't they? Morning, folks. Ooh, excuse me. It's Friday. It's about half past nine. I'm just about to have my brekkie. And I thought I'd just have a quick chit chat with you because it's a little while since I've um, shown my face. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to pop on is um, I wanted to show you what lovely treats Johnny brought me back from Canada. He's just been to Toronto with work and I'd completely forgotten I even asked him to do this but he remembered and he went to Starbucks and he got me the Canada You Were Here mug. It's full of coffee. This was not well thought out was it? Look at the bear! And the mousse, and it's got maple syrup and a mountain hat and hockey stick and what's this chicken in a basket? I'm not sure. I don't know. Maple syrup, look. Is that a beaver? <laughs> I absolutely love it. So I'm having my morning coffee in that. I'm just about to eat my brekkie. But he also went to visit a yarn shop while he was there, bless his little heart, called Romney Wool. And he brought me back these two skeins of yarn and these are both made by yarns from heaven can you see that so the green one is a sock type yarn it's um, plied um, finger in weight um, merino 80 merino 20 nylon um, blend 
and it's these lovely variegated pretty greens look it's got these mossy colours in it and then more emeraldy shades and this one is called this base is topaz and this is 100% superwash merino and it's a singles base but I asked him to see if he could choose a couple to go together in a two colour shawl and I can see this as a Christmas shawl and I absolutely love these colours he had no input from me whatsoever I think the lady in the shop helped him a little bit these are so soft and squishy I'm a very lucky girl and these are both um, made in Canada and that's what oh here's the colours tulip blossom this one and this one is Shulia Lake so I've got those to look forward to working with later uh, so today's going to be a bit of a rest day because um, Johnny being away for the week has really exhausted me I'm trying to take things in my stride and trying to listen to my body better and um, rest when I need to rest so that's what I'm doing today um, yeah but I have got to clean the floor in the front room because the settees are coming, the new settees are coming tomorrow between 7 and 9am on a Saturday I think that's a bit keen but I thought I'll try and get it done this morning and then that's one last thing to worry about we've moved the furniture as you'll have already seen I had a really good sleep last night and I didn't get up until late it was a bit of a rush getting out this morning and I am still exhausted oh. Uh, I'm hoping I'll get a chance to knit on my sock whip, which is here, because I am on the um, I'm on the forethought heel of the second sock here. So uh, I'd like to try and get this finished today if I can. I just started the decreases. By the time I'd, I was working a bit on trying to sort the front room out last night, and by the time I'd done that, I was so tired, I didn't get much work done on this. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping this afternoon I'll be able to rest and work on that somewhat. So that's good. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to show you the new settees tomorrow when they come. I never know whether to say settee or sofa. We've always called them settees in our family. I don't know if it's a northern-southern divide thing. Um, in the shops, obviously, they all call them sofas, but I don't know. Settee is just what I naturally go to. What do you call them? It'd be interesting to know if it's a regional thing. I, I guess it probably is. Anyway, I'm going to eat my brekkie now and watch a podcast or a vlog. Um, and then I'm going to get on with my work. See you in a bit.
mistletoe. 